Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a speed versus weight profile on the Diesel X, so stay tuned. The whole reason we're doing this video, you guys, the whole purpose of it is just uh, with the Diesel X being a new bow from KI, if you're interested in it and you're just kind of wondering what you know what it shoots out of the box what it's going to shoot if, as you start adding point weight uh, that is that is the whole point is just to give you guys an actual speed versus weight profile for a specific bow instead of trying to use an online calculator or something like that so i've got the diesel x i've got my chronograph i've got two different 20 inch arrows here so i've got a stock ki hyper arrow which I weighed on my scale at 291 grains, that is without a field point. And then I've got a Sirius Phoenix, also 20 inches. This has a little heavier insert in it. This is 338 uh, grains without a field point in it. I've got a Sirius Archery Ranch Ferry Test Kit. This is the 200 to 300 grain kit. And then with it, I've got a 100, a 125, and a 150 grain field point. So I've got everything covered from 100 to 300 grains in 25 grain increments with the exception of 175. But I think we'll be able to kind of cover that by, uh, by shooting the Sirius Phoenix with a 125 grain point, I think is what I had calculated out. But basically, what we're gonna be able to cover in 25 grain increments is a total arrow weight of 391 grains. That would be the hyper arrow with a 100 grain point, all the way up to 638 grains. That would be the Phoenix with a 300 grain point. And we're just gonna shoot the diesel X through the chronograph with all those point weights and see how fast it shoots. And since we're gonna have both speed and weight, we'll go ahead and we'll calculate momentum and kinetic energy for each of the arrow sets that we shoot. Since somebody's probably gonna ask, which is a good question, is why aren't we weighing each specific arrow weight combination? Um, just to speed up this video, what I did is I weighed each shaft, which you guys saw, and then I weighed each point. So the Sirius Archery Ranch Ferry Test Kit, the 200 to 300s, those all weighed within plus or minus a grain. The other ones, the 100s, the 125s, and the 150s, I just sat there and weighed them until I got one that was plus or minus one grain as well. So all the arrow weights that we're gonna list here or shoot throughout this video, those are all plus or minus one grain. 391 grains. Four hundred and sixteen grains. Four hundred and forty one grains. Four hundred and sixty three grains. Four hundred and ninety one grains. 516 grains. 541 grains. 566 grains. 591 grains. 613 grains. 638 grains. All right, guys, now that we got all those values, we've got the weight versus speed uh, combinations with everything that I could basically put together here at my house. We got to nerd out a little bit. We got to put this in Excel. We've got to uh, see what we can take from this data and see if we can use it even farther and that's what i did here so i'm sharing my excel screen with you guys i want to walk you through what i did and and how i think this can be useful to you guys and hopefully it's not too confusing so let's start with this right here this highlighted section that i'm going to highlight first in yellow so this is what we measured at least as far as arrow weight goes and as far as speed goes so we've got all those arrow weights that you saw in the video and all the speeds that correlated with it I simply then took those weights and those speeds and I calculated kinetic energy and momentum for each of them. So if you're in that ballpark or you're shooting a, the same arrow weight, um, here you go as far as weight, speed, kinetic energy, and momentum. 
I took it a step further and I graphed that here in Excel. And that's what you're going to see over here on the right. And then in the black line with the dots, this is a graph of all of our measured values with the y-axis being speed and the x-axis being weight. And what you guys can see, even if that orange line wasn't there, this data set that we created is a very linear. It has a very nice consistent slope. Basically, each 25 grain increment reduce the speed by, you know, essentially the same amount, which is great because we can use then a linear best fit line on this graph. And that is what you see here in orange. So linear best fit line is basically Excel is going to place a perfectly straight line over your data set that you can use as an estimator. Um, and from that, you can generate an equation that you can then use to um, calculate values either in between your data points, you know, like 391 and 416, like you can use that to calculate values in between that, those two points, or you can use it to extrapolate the data to something beyond what you actually measured. Um, so that's what you see here with this equation, this y equals equation. And then the r squared value, the closer that value is to one, the more linear your data set is. This is a, like your indicator to how good your best fit line is. And so for us, the fact that our linear best fit line, me choosing that for our data set is 0.9898, that means it is a really good best fit line. And it is a good application for a linear best fit line with our data set. So what does that mean? So for you guys, instead of trying to figure out what you're supposed to put into this equation to get values, basically speeds for different arrow weights that I didn't actually shoot through a chronograph, I went ahead and did it for you. So I guess just so you know, that's what this huge section is right here. For X, what we actually put in um, is values of like one, two, three, four, et cetera because uh, that equation is based around not the actual number that you see down here or the weight, but the number of the data set. So like 391, that is the first value that we did. So if you put a value of one into this equation for X, you're gonna get very close to the uh, measured value of 395 feet per second. You're actually gonna get a little bit slower. You're gonna get like 391. Uh, if you look at this best fit line, you'll see this is one of our bigger gaps in our data set. And it gets much tighter throughout some of the other sections of it. But for 391, you would put two in or one into that equation. For 416, you would put two. For 441, you would put three, et cetera, et cetera. Instead of you guys trying to figure that out, if you have something in between, what I did is I just divided one by 25 because we were essentially going in 25 grain increments throughout the entire data set with the exception of a couple. And that gives you, you know, one divided by 25 is 0.04. So what that gives us is using the best fit line, we're getting calculated values for in one grain increments for everything from 391, since that is essentially the lightest this crossbow can shoot, it's 390, but 391, that's fine. Um, one grain increments from 391 all the way down to our 638, that measured value. Um, and then I extrapolated beyond that. If anybody is interested in shooting something more than that, I took it all the way to 700 grains. So you'll see in this data set, every highlighted value is one that we actually measured through the chronograph. So if you land on, you know, if you're looking for, okay, what's my speed versus weight for a particular value if you see one of these highlighted ones if you land directly on one of these it's probably better to actually use the measured value through the chronograph not the calculated one but if you land somewhere in between this should give you a pretty darn good estimate as far as what you can expect for speed kinetic energy and momentum for your particular arrow weight and then from things beyond the 638 mark all this stuff in gray that is assuming our data set remains linear, which I think is a safe assumption to make. And it is just extrapolating that best fit line beyond our data set, the same slope, all that type of stuff. Um, and then just, and just taking that using the same calculation and going beyond what we measured all the way to 700 grains. 
So what I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna try to find a good way. If I can put this in the description of the YouTube video, I will. If I can't, I will find a place. I'll do my best to find a place to put it and maybe I'll put a comment or I'll put something in the description where you guys can find this exact Excel file. And if for some reason that doesn't work, what I'm gonna do right now before we wrap up this video is I'm just gonna take screenshots of all this stuff and we're just gonna run them here in the video in you know like a couple second second increments and you guys can take screenshots of my screenshots from this video and then use it for whatever your needs are for the arrow weights that you guys have to estimate the speed kinetic energy and momentum for whatever combination you've got with the diesel x All right, you guys, that's it. That's what I've got for you just to wrap up this video. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. If you are a Diesel X owner or if you're thinking of purchasing a Diesel X, I hope this helps you guys out just knowing what you can expect from the boat with different arrow weight combinations. And I'm not bashing online calculators. I think they're a, a, a great estimator. Uh, I just think this is better to me personally, actually shooting a Diesel X through a chronograph and, and just seeing what it is capable of with different arrow weights, I think is gonna give you guys a better representation of what you can expect if you have one or if you purchase one and you don't have a chronograph. And this is by no means perfect either, okay? This is not a calibrated chronograph. My scale is not calibrated. And every Diesel X is probably gonna shoot a little bit different, but all in all, I think this is a little better representation for you guys. So I hope it helps you guys out. And if it does, do me a favor, please hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out the description of this video. Also down below, we've got links to all the stuff that I use if you're interested in picking up some of this other gear. And we've got a discount code for KI products also down below in the description. So don't miss that. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Be safe out there. God bless. And remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.